Here, come here. I just need her to break the fever. Here. Why are you giving me stuff? Because she's around you. <laughs> and she's, she's liable to catch whatever you catch it. Here. Okay. Yeah. Here. Oh, girl. Yeah. Damn girl. <laughs> We're getting them take medicine is crazy. Dolly done brought her germs down here. Now my grandbabies is sick. Boy, damn germs down here. I'm I'm using uh, mucinex, and it keeps the phlegm down from off of their chest, cause uh, it keeps the uh, the the airway open and the mucus uh, under control. So I I use this all the time. I've been using this. I I was using this on her mother when her mother was like 11 years old. So mucinex been out that long. <laughs> so it it controls the mucus. What? No, Emmy. Go finish eating your um food. Uh, it controls the mucus. Um, you know, it controls the mucus in their chest. So um, I've been using this on my daughter uh, since she was 11 years old, and um, now I'm using it on them because it, it controls the phlegm and everything. It builds up. It it, it takes the phlegm out of it. You. you know what I'm saying? So so I've been using this for a lot of years. And her, her, their mother is 22 years old. So. That's how long I've been using it. <laughs> so, go sit down. Go sit down. Uh, Tylenol I use uh, for Tylenol or Motrin. I will use. I like Motrin better, but Tylenol's been so so old through the family. Tylenol uh, it breaks fevers more faster. Uh, Motrin is uh, um, it's, it's a safe product too. Motrin and Tylenol, but they said uh, something about. Uh, Tylenol, you can't, you can't like, um, take a like, like over, over um, use this Tylenol because it'll mess up your stomach lining. You know what I'm saying? Tylenol will. And um, Motrin is pretty good. Motrin um, is a good product also that I use. Uh, I used it on her mother when she was Motrin, not Tylenol. I use Motrin. So, but Tylenol uh, is kind of a, um, it's 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 a pretty good um, to break fevers too. But Tylenol, you got to be real careful with Tylenol because it'll, it'll really mess up your stomach lining. And too much of any type of pain medicine will mess up your stomach lining. You know, so so you don't want to overuse it. And you want to you wanna give them, being that she's, hey, being that she's five years old, you want to give her every six hours. You know, she's five. So you want to give her... Um, a, a smaller Mommy. dosage, and um, sometimes they they tell you five wow. milligrams uh, per, per dosage for a little five year old, five milligrams, and her weight sized also. So so you gotta think about the weight, and it might cause an effect if you if you overuse the pain medicine, and she might have an allergic reaction because of her weight or uh, her age. You know what I'm saying? So uh, so being that she's five. Uh, her weight, I know her weight, I know her, um, hey, her, uh, size, so she can handle five milligrams of, um, Tylenol, you know, but every six hours, though, and, um, she has, um, she has this, um, also, and we give her this every six hours also, so, um, but with babies, you know, you know babies, you really want to be careful, you want to do, like, uh, two milligrams, to one milligram with babies, um, my grandbaby size, uh, give her like, uh, like especially if they teething, cause she has a back, um, she don't like, she don't like taking it. She has a back tooth. She had three back teeth growing in, so, <laughs> so she's 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 really suffering. Grandma, I have two baby teeth. Yeah, I see. It didn't move out yet. Teeth. So, yeah. Your sister still got her teeth um, growing. So, so you want to do uh, one milligram to, to two milligrams, but you want to do every six hours also. Um, 
I see babies. Yeah, I adults, do. adults can handle every four hours, um, but uh, extra strength they might have like ten milligrams to uh, to ten milligrams to to twenty milligrams, uh, like a teenager. A teenager can handle between 10 milligrams and 20 milligrams of pain medicine. But an adult of uh, such weight and stuff like that, you have to <clears throat> you have to um, know how much um, Tylenol to give them. Like, my pain medicine has, um, I think it was like uh, 275 milligrams per uh, every six hours. So, um... I used to take my uh, my medicine for uh, three times a day, and um, when I started having my uh, my other um, pain, uh, <laughs> they put me on every four hours, and they just gave me a, another dosage, meaning 300, 300 milligrams per uh, every six hours. So, um, but they said every four hours I'm supposed to be on my pain medicine, but um, I thought about. Uh, I thought about, uh, <coughs> I thought about, hey, I thought about the pain pump, uh, where that they, you put a pump in you, and, um, to go get it refilled, uh, it, it, it hooks up to your, um, your area, your spinal, and you're able to, uh, function a little bit more better throughout the day. Uh, stop, stop, Amy. stop it. What did I say? You're able to function throughout the day. And what they do is they they numb the area and they stick the needle in to refill the machine. Um, it's like a little bitty, it's a little bitty box. And um, it, um, it's, it's connected to your, um, your nerve, your, like your spinal area. And uh, sometimes the dosage, they have to know like the dosage and stuff. So I thought about that because I, 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 um, Ever since I've been walking, uh, I've been in a lot of pain, you know, uh, so, uh, and like sometimes my pain is over, uh, it's, it's so over the top where that, um, sometimes I have seizures, uh, with the pain, you know, when I don't have my pain medicine and stuff. So, um, I was on, um, a Motrin, uh, I was on a, uh, morphine drip. I was on a morphine drip, and then they changed it to the pills, and uh, the pills started knocking me out, you know, me having my daughter, because my daughter was at the time, <laughs> my daughter was eight years old at the time, and I had to come home, and I said, well, I have a, a little girl I, I got to watch over, so I can't have any medicines that's drowsy, it makes me drowsy, so they, they gave me another <coughs> medication called Trimadol. And trimnol just goes to the pain, you know. It doesn't make you drowsy or anything. You're able to function throughout the day without pain, you know. So that was the best medicine that they got for me. Uh-uh, no, no, no. Go at the table. What did I say? I said no. So um, trimadol was the best um, medicine for me. But they tried me on different ones, and uh, trimadol was the best for me. And uh, I had to stop taking my pain medicine because um, I had siblings that was kind of popping pills at the time and was on drugs. It's, and you can sell my pills on the street. You can sell those pills for at least uh, 30 bucks, you know, per pill. That pill will last you for a long time. You know what I'm saying? 300 milligram to 500 milligram. And, uh, they, you know, these pills, <coughs> these pills will last a long time. You know what I'm saying? You, you only got to pop a pill like every six hours with these pills. You know, but I, uh, like with the Motrin pills, they, they street value, you know. So I had to stop taking my medicine for a long time because when you have uh, ex-junkies around you, you got junkies around you and you got, you got people that abuse prescriptions you gotta you gotta you gotta let your doctor know why you're not taking your medicine and stuff so i've been suffering a lot for these these past <coughs> five, five years because uh my prescription has been taken and sold on the street through my family members and stuff like that so yeah so i have to um i have to watch my prescription all the time so i got tired of doing that so i stopped picking my prescription up I stopped ordering prescription. I stopped going to the doctors. I stopped a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? I stopped a lot of things because I have a, a whole bunch of drug addicts, you know, in my family. And they they, they want to sit there and take your medicine and sell it on the street 
and stuff and uh, make money off of it. So I stopped doing everything. So I'm trying to get in touch with my uh, medical doctors, uh, my my uh, medical doctors now so that um, I can get back on my, my full prescription. But I stopped all my prescriptions. No, I stopped picking them up and everything because they, they want to sit there and sell them. Stop, Amy, stop it. They want to sit there and sell you your own prescription. You know what I'm saying? My eyes so, pop. These, these Indians, pop. these these doctors, you know what I'm saying? They, no, Amy. They, they doing medical uh, uh, sales and stuff like that, these Indian doctors. I don't even know if they Indian doctors. I, I, like I don't even know if they drug Amy dealers posing as Indian doctors or not. I don't know. But they, it's, a big, it's a big thing going on in Michigan. And uh, they busted a lot of offices that sell these pills, you know what I'm saying, that that um, they ain't, ain't nothing wrong with them. They just selling the pills. You know what I'm saying? They just making a lot of fortune off of these pills. You know these these are drug addicts that's getting pills. You know, amphetamines. You can you can uh, actually take a, a drug test for amphetamines, popping pills. You know, if those if those uh, prescriptions is in your system and you don't have a doctor's excuse to take those prescriptions, that means you are you are using the your your addict, your pill addict. So yeah. Okay. See y'all later.